Good day, boys. Let's continue. Still uh, more gaming to go today. 87 turns in. Having another long stream today. Uh, uh, we'll have also guilt later. Thank you now. Many stations we have, 28. Okay, uh, we had the uh, battle against the elves here. And uh, the follow up didn't have enough movement to take it on. I thought we would head now, but this, look at this, it's 36%. This 36%? I don't know. This uh, terrain is so rough and makes no sense. It's savannah. Not mountains, not swamp. But it is what it is. Uh, Just go. Let's go here. Was guild random? Yeah. Well, I had the so far guild and move against the random ones. Uh, one ended already. There's a third one being rolled. Two can be active at the same time until one finish. Uh, we don't start a uh, roll for another one. 800 weapon strength. How far we long for the uh, for the long victor? Like twelve victor elements. Not even close. Hex for speed. So we have all the good yellow stuff here. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. So I'm not be doing any actions. Might as well get training in public order. Let me just try something here. Here we go. No! Sniffing out war. Let's go. Don't pain back. Gotta be quick. So the heroes. Just the movement is really bad there. Really bad. Uh, we're taking down uh, right now uh, Hagrif, uh, Knights of Kalador. Other than that, we're also at war with uh, Nagarond and uh, the Force of Chaos. Be having uh, big bosses all over the world uh, scouting. All over the world. Anything you say. Let's go to Dev Gorge to recruit a couple of fanatics. Two fanatics uh, will be good. Uh, Get the one of the regular gobos and another archer. Then wanna go blow four. I'm special. Mm -hmm. What are our relationship here with uh with the Your eyes or the edge of words, but to 49, three spaces are going down. We're in the six turns. Rogar is three spaces, you should probably attack me uh, if it gets close to Grimgor. The space is solid, uh, the east is secured. Hmm. Should get Scotty uh, to Karakate Beaks. Sort uh, his army. Oh, yes. Hmm. 
Yes, boss. So I'm scouting. We are uh, planning to attack last defenders uh, as well. We are uh, uh, working on getting the uh, the biggest uh, lizardman trophy, which is massive physical resist. Make us the top dog in melee. Thank you, dictator. Okay, we're gonna be uh, scouting all undiscovered area. You see this uh, thing here? This is the undiscovered area. Uh, this has been discovered, but it's in full war. So all this is undiscovered. Unless you know about the factions, you can't really say who is there. Like right, we don't even know right now who is there. So since the long campaign, we'll discover the whole world. Do what I say. I is the biggest. We'll keep him uh, uh, here uh, to defend Akendorf. I have one uh, Bob uh, at Akendorf, one Bob at uh, Mangumbat. The spaces here are potential war zones and rebellion fests, which uh, we want them to be rebellion fests. What? What the hell happened here? I'll take it. Uh, let's go north here. On the way. Of Looks like Emperor has strong armies. And they have to deal with uh, with uh, somewhat uh, decent chaos this campaign. There's a rebellion down here. It could be the wolves. Let's send the bob. Uh, we can get uh, three shamans. We're cycling shamans with proper traits. Karak 8 peaks. Uh, I guess there are two hero slots. Let's move the growth. Hero capacity uh, is luxury. Oh my god! Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! What the Thank you, Merit. Bit yes, cheaper to cycle than once we get uh, this technology. 30% cheaper recruitment. Is there anything in the Dread Rock? Nothing. Stutters on Island, they just have a port. I guess they have both ports. Empire port, Ruginsky port, the same income. What does it say here? Wharves are platforms jutting out of the water, allowing ships to be boarded easily. Whether man made, man made, or natural, a harbor is a place for vessels to wait uh, out Stromfell's rage. The Greenskin shipyard says. Uh, large port cities are strategically key during wartime, for they are home to its great fleets, both military or mercantile. I guess just uh, copy pasta uh, standard port. To be more flavorful with the uh, with the green skins, I feel like the ports uh, should have had much less income. It also increased uh, faction-wide uh, rating and. Uh, Post battle loot buffs similar to the rating stash. Maybe even lower upkeep on some of the units. Yell finished now. This rebels will be undead, which is pretty good. This rebel is going to be undead, which is also pretty good. This is one uh, probably. The green skin Nagashiza is probably the best spot in the game for rebels. In the game. So you wonder how much we can we uh, get experience here on our guys. We want this spot uh, to be always out of resolve against the rebels. So every few turns a big paycheck from the rebels. In a long campaign with a lot of raiding sta uh, uh, stash, stashes, it will be massive. Well, it might be even the richest city. Uh, of all the green skin cities with the right setup.
the undead rebels uh, still not chance against the Greens and Garrison. Yes, boss. And we also have strong garrisons now because uh, technologies are actually, uh, you know, proper. Proper. I feel like this place, you know, it's a even uh, even makes sense to be s a rebellion. This this place is supposed to be uh, rebellions non-stop, unless you're vampires. It's supposed to be pretty much hell on earth, impregnable labyrinth. Uh, uh, this is pretty much the frozen throne here. Armies on the left, armies on the right, and not a living soul nearby. What you want? Lady from the front. LS says, Is Grimgun now your second favorite Grinch infection after Grom? When did I say that Grom was my favorite? I said Grom is the strongest because he is the only one with a unique mechanic. Now then, speak quick because you caught me in a good mood. Listen to cookies. No, I will not shame my. Cookies uh, would be, uh, you know, prime example what you would call, uh, you know, somebody with a bad taste. If a person with a bad taste actually really had, you know, you know, picked the, probably the worst possible bad taste, that would be cookies. Despair involves fighting. Yeah, kills. Bold for war. Try to learn from the best. Gonna whip you, gets in a shame. Bless. Ah. Now, Grimgor might be the second worst, uh, uh, second worst green skin faction, but. Uh, I mean, uh, second worst. I mean, the uh, be, might be the second best, uh, but uh, you know, I'm definitely not signing with Azak there. Yes. I think Azak is the second worst. Is it normal to get 100% what's say buff in the game? No. No. It's not normal to go over 30% for example. Uh, the Grimgar has a uh, black rug. Best green skin city in the game. And has the uh, big Ford uh, best green skin landmark in the game. So he can be the worst. But Grom exists with uh, a powerful unique mechanic that's only available to him. So he is not the, the best faction of Greenskins. Grom uh, got the most out, out of it, so I guess he's the Warhammer 2 faction after all. Green, uh, Grimgor doesn't have any unique mechanics. Azak doesn't have any unique mechanics. 
Woodstock doesn't have any unique mechanics. I don't think you can call what Skarsk has a unique mechanic, it's garbage with the needs updating. Uh, while Grom is the only one with a unique mechanics and it's overpowered. But uh, Grimgar has the best location and is a, is a powerful lord. But that mechanic the Grom has cannot be matched by anything other Grimskins have. Well, uh, that used to be the case, Cook is, uh, while well, the Death Lord was something, now that's garbage, uh, I have to disagree with that. Now's the time, life and safe, yes! Let's go! Start the war! As a got butchered by the multiplayer. Plain and simple. Well, Grimgar is now or buffed. Was always good in melee. Looks like we're gonna have exactly enough here. It's out of your control, Frisian. You're gonna encamp, you're gonna encamp. The Y is just, you know, uh, next uh, with you. You will pay for this. This is massive. Kill everything. Got a bully finally. Was this, this is the second floor? Now it does have more because of the Ravager. We can occupy it here. Uh, we still have to deal with Lamia. This is my land. I'm not touching that one. Really biased. Whoa. Oh, we're gonna get down to large here. Take it if you dare. Winner. Next. We can put the riser standards on the armored squeaks. Nasty magic ready. Yeah, on it. Uh, we actually have the local uh, fanatics here, so we don't even have to go into the city. I'm special. The plan is to get four razor standards and equip the squeak mascot. Yeah. Bogart and the Squeak Mascot. No. Nasty magic. 
Mm, that's actually pretty good damage. Very good for the flank. Cease. Don't push me. Thirty-nine attack. This one needs a, uh, some really high attack weapon. Here, there's a pig barter landmark. Uh, this is a thing lost settlement might call it. Greatest of the dragon princes. Yeah. One in the water here. Get going. This way. Me. Away. Moving. Fight is a fight, yeah. We can go harass the Lamia yeah, here. Rowing. They're gonna go to Confederate pretty fast here. Ridiculous. Malus is now gonna be part of Nagarond. It's probably uh, the best thing about Malus. How oh, pathetic is that? Best thing he can do become part of Nagarant. Same shit for Razak. Alright, I'm up. Let's get stabby. Gonna be quick. When I get there, gonna stand. You're the boss. Doc wants me. You want on it. You're a fight. Hmm, two turns, huh? No. That's Master Necromancer. On it. Uh we get the uh, growth and replenishment. Spiders here. Gonna be boss of the old world. Uh, I can declare a war and uh, let them win a couple of battles. That's uh, I think the best thing without making it too gaming. Let him, let him take uh, Lamia. Maybe these two settlements as well. Abby. 
On the way. Despair involves fighting. How many settlements they have? Eight. Pretty much uh, locked down there. Because they can't sail east. Do what I say. Gork and Morg welcome news. I need you. Good plan. <laughs> Shamans here. Torture and cunning. What you want? The storm trolls uh, still need the upgrade damage. Stone armor, stronger howdas. At least it has something. Where was that other black orc? It's not been five turns, uh, one more turn. We're back to mobster. We nuclear Nagaran uh, from the east before they started killing armies. That's our biggest enemy right now, but uh, they're on the other side of the world. Nagarond and uh, Hagrid were probably uh, a primary example how confederations need to be reworked. How the fuck, how fuck they are uh, up, some fuck up the game sometimes. Why would Malekid or Malus become a uh, uh, part of anybody's faction? Here we go. Oh, it's a little bit now in our favor. Uh, makes you wonder why is it so high this time? Is it because of the experience, or we got another buff? That's a fine thought to resolve, but we have some, uh, we have a black orc big boss here, hungry for experience. They are the countless green skins. I think I had enough discussion with the, for, uh, about these things for the one day. We just play the campaign here. Eyes the biggest. This thing is getting experienced quite slowly for a single entity. Attack. 
It's a really fine uh, building. Oh Shame it's an uh, unpleasant climate. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! Thank you, Jake Snake. This one is on uh, 9 units and uh, there's still a little bit of replenishing, there's only 4 here. This force is landed here, they're going to alarm you. Get going. Strongest! Meanest! Never! Fighters a fight, I'll yeah. put the fear of gawk in at him! Two squadron and chariots. Who should we zap? This spells are charged! This way! The tribe's ready! Uh, we're gonna send Scotty. Uh, to... That works! Ready to go! We're gonna send the Karakit Pigs to get some monsters. Let's send Grimgot to Lamia. Let's go. Kroger is here. Uh, we might actually catch him in the water. Ten defense of Grimgot. Nasty magic ready. Okay. So everybody in this army has Vanguard except uh, the giant river troll Hag. I guess... Uh, uh, go big boss with some debuff items uh, would fit a little bit more than the Hag, but uh, this, is, uh, this is a potentially higher casualties and we have uh, nearly a cap with uh, with that hag, uh, with the hag. On the way. What you want? Mm, there might be a vanguard on the item, Where's yeah. The Might be a vanguard item, might be a rare one. Could be a banner as well. Some items you have to play 10 campaigns to see. On it. Just go. What you want? This way. Do not mistake me for the fool. Mm -hmm. Such a thing is impossible. Never. Yes, boss. We're gonna be exploring the whole uh, the whole map. When I get there, gonna stab. So who's uh, Reichlin fighting? Who calls? Uh, Skull Smashers and Chaos Forces. Oh, 
I guess uh, Colin can stay here. Looking for a fight. The tribe's ready. This magic is real. Six hundred fifty one for a spider with upkeep reduction. Thirty three percent. Heroes cost upkeep on map, yeah, their base upkeep cost. It's not affected by any upkeep increases or decreases unless it specifically says heroes. So, for example, uh, the vampire counts necromancer cost 250. It will cost 250 uh, on the campaign map until you get the Lamian skill, which will make them 125. And they will never increase in, uh, in cost until they join the army, become a, a military unit. Until then, they're basically just an agent, agent saving a cause. This is uh, not right. When you're here, it should tell you the base costs, but uh, the uh, hero for, uh, cost for some reason is updated, which is incorrect. This is how much he costs only when in the army. Best. Do what I say. Don't think so. There's gonna be a here, Lizardman. Maybe. Oh. I wanna get uh, Kroger on Shield Wizard and uh, Grimgor. It will update uh, uh, next time. Some factions uh, can have heroes that don't cost anything, like uh, Hamlet doesn't pay nothing for the necromancer the campaign map. He has, uh, uh, can have uh, free necromancers. Not everything updates the moment uh, it happens, you know. Especially with one of the la uh, last updates regarding this. Some things need a turn to update. You've come for Grimgore's mercy. Cheaper heroes so cheaper to cycle and 10% relations with all factions. Love them equally or else, huh? What oh, is this bonus called here? Oh, I'm dead profit. 20 from technology. I guess both. Because, uh, you know, these things, you know, ne never really done the right. This is plus 10 from a building, but it's considered 10 from technology. 
Then we have a technology from plus 10, it uh, adds another 10 to technology. So you think this technology is bugged, it's supposed to give in 10, not 20. But the other 10 comes from a building which is assigned to technology bonus from Dork's Rock. There's an arc selling around here. Talk, say me to battle. Makes you wonder if we can pin it there. Yeah, what? Move. It charge. There's a big garrison here, but we can assault it. These goods are sitting ducks. Grimgor plus 19 Black Horror Warbors waiting room. It's never gonna happen. We need one more razor standard here. Got it to uh, Karakate Peaks. Now Get him some uh, uh, better units. I'm special. Oh, the biggest. I'll put the fear of Gorkin on him. It's kind of hilarious when thinking about it. You have to get uh, get a hag in the army for get that juicy replenishment. We stuck with a shit lore. So you get him pretty much like magical zeros and arc hundred and uh feed the shaman. You know, same like with Azak, you know. You get a shaman and you cast some proper magic. Here uh we gotta kinda make it work because uh we don't wanna put our shaman in this army. I guess we uh, uh go with a soul blight and uh spirit leech spam and make the goblin grind them. And they get uh, actually pretty good stats for melee uh, eventually. But still it's a shit, a shit uh, lore to have. Compared to the Orc Shaman, a uh, big war. Just go. Here we go. Away. Short sighted. So they got this to tier three. Why does he have such a strong garrison? What? Dark Elves have uh, this here? Must be a really bad climate. Shit makes no sense. This way. What do you want? Ah, 
Hey guys, I'm brand new to this game. I'm about to start my first campaign. Is there any way to reset skills without mods for converted lords? Trying to figure out how I want to play the campaign out. No, you can't. No, without the mods. But uh, I'm sure the devs are on it. They're aware that uh, it's in high demand. Somewhere about 2025, probably. Right after Corona ends. Move in. Away on it. What? Move in. Ah! And I'll be quick. I will not disgrace my ancestors. By nothing we come, Clover. Fight us a fight, yeah? Do you take me for a wazzock? Uh, scrap algorithms for the Goblin Wolf Chariot, Goblin Wolf Riders, Goblin Wolf Rider Archers. And all the Wolf Riders get 6 armor. Also use plus 1 recruit rank for Boar, Wolf and Spider Rider units. Uh huh, multiplayer technology, Roger. Uh, scrap upgrades for Goblin Rider Spider Riders, Goblin Spider Rider Archers, 7 leadership for Spider Rider units. I recruitment cost minus 10% for spider rider units. Oh yeah, this they're nice they're in the same part of the uh, technology tree, so you remember which one to ignore. Uh scrap hours along for orc boar boys, orc boar begins and orc boar chariots. Oh man, it looks like I'm just I'm starting to wonder why I didn't research any of this yet. It's still the only one turn each. Scrap average and log for Savage Orc Boar Boys, Savage Orc Boar Boy Begins, Arm Piercing with Depth Damage plus 8 for Savage Orc Cavalry Units, Speed plus 10% for Orc Boar Units. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one, but uh, we don't need it right now. Ten percent more second, good for the economy, but economy is incredible. Uh, I guess we'll get uh, shiny magic things. This is solid stuff. More scouting and more power. This is two more shamans, ten more uh, with oh magic power God. reserve. Have you seen that shit? That's uh, that's solid. And uh, we can get a raiding stash here. Raiding stashes. Thank you, Victor. What really pisses me off with Bon Rattles that uh, they didn't need to put a landmark here. What really pisses me off. Such a garbage uh, uh, location. But still in weak campaign because you go into the Empire immediately. I guess you can just rush uh, south and deal with this or just ignore it and hope uh, somebody else has win here. But what if uh, this area gets overrun by dwarves or the Skaven if you don't rush uh, Blakerag? What then? <laughs> All of a sudden, you bring down the empire, and then path eighty settlements, clan Moors. On this one, uh, we have three points here and three points there. Six, thirty-four, seven, thirteen, uh, ten extra. The 
You might end up in the army later. Bold for war. I know what could stop me. Turn ninety. How's the objective looking? Uh, we need to destroy the bloody hands, skull smashers. Uh, we need all, all of this, all every single city here, and we need seventeen victory settlements, which we have three. I guess 200 plus turns campaign incom incoming. Now then, speak quick, cause you caught me in a good mood. Uh, the video says he's new here. I Recommend uh, go watch Arkard or Nerd. Don't watch this channel. Uh, Arkard, like Twitch.com, Arkard, Twitch.com, Nerd, Rage, Fred. Highly recommend. Go check them out. I recommend uh, Fred a little more than Arkard. Arkard is a little bit more your, uh, you know, standard yes man. But you know, Fred is a really cool guy. But if Fred is not online, then I guess you can watch Arkard. My, me? I watch uh, Pelagia first. Everybody else doesn't matter. Fuck everybody else on Twitch. Pelagia is online. She got all my attention. He's like a one turn ahead of us. This battle war. Going. No. What happened to Fanron? What happens to most uh, small streamers? They eventually stop. Yes, or stream on every once in a blue moon. What do you want? I'll block here and uh, I'll attack him if he's still in the area. You're the boss. Forks will. Let's go. This can't seem mortal. Where'd he go? In the motion. What the shit? Get nasty. I think I had movement. Come on. What you want? The boys are pleased. It's good, uh, we can get more bells here. Do what I says. 
Looks like recruitment is happening here and uh, garrison of 18 units. Plenty of dark guards. We do have full buff on assault now here. Nasty magic's ready. strength to this faction right now. We just take Lamia and uh, we can attack the last defenders. Doesn't look like they have a good economy. Makes me wonder why some factions have so much and some factions have so little. Something is something's out of control there. It's almost like somebody added an extra zero somewhere by mistake. I'll be exploring all the undiscovered uh, uh, parts of the world. Get going! It's Abby. Just go. How strong is it? Sir? It's uh, seventeen eight settlements. Ooh, the chaos is actually looking good. Very nice. They all did war with nearly everybody. We'll see how they uh, how they work with them. We could expect an attack from Chaos on Akendorf and uh, Mount Gumbert. That's why we had the bobs there. Cease. Ha! Violence! I refuse. Bone for war. And a wrecking ball. Do what I says. Gonna stop. Uh, Scorn says I have one hour in Skyrim, I swear. Well, it could be worse, you could be Twink. You know, we were taking a break from PoE, me and my group back in the day. Stalling Requiem, getting ready for a long playthrough in uh, Skyrim, I think it was winter or something. And, uh, you know, we enjoying ourselves, talking you know, about it, you know, about our experiences, and then Dan Twinks joins the TeamSpeak. And, you know, he got his paycheck, so he's gonna start buying some shit on Steam. And he buys, you know, he's, uh, he's us having fun, he must have fun, he buys Skyrim among other stuff. And he installs, and he's ready. And then he still clicks play and uh, asks us, guys, how do you skip this uh, cinematic, this intro? You know, I, I, I don't care about the lore. I wanna wanna see the gameplay. After spending 50 bucks, I guess this is the reason why Twitch and YouTube are so successful. I mean, but he's from Texas. You know, I've met a lot of special people from Texas. Either uh, a little too much special or really special. On the way. Gonna be quick. Mook says what? Away! What? Hold the war. We're gonna have a couple of uh, nice rebellion spots here. What do we get if we confederate Azak? We do get these territories here. Now, here's a gold mine here. 
Yeah, uh, but uh, the province is not as good like uh, Western Badlands for four regions. That is a uh, 1,000 income. There's no landmarks. Does he have any any f skills that buffs faction? Nothing, right? Uh, I think his faction or himself has second buff. Cookies, are you here? You played this campaign like ten times. You he probably knows. Is the second bonus on Azak or on his faction? I'm really uh, mad about this faction, uh, what a low effort it is. It's still a better faction than the Bloody Hands though, even if it's uh, uh, the worst Greenskin leader. Faction? Mm-hmm. We'll get a rank 9 garrison here, I think. I don't remember. Last time I had rank 9 guards, I think it was with, uh, uh, with Vlad before they've patched it. Another raiding uh, stash. I think Azak is a really cool uh, lord uh, when it comes to, you know, voice acting and his set of skills. But uh, he got butchered badly by. Uh, the nerves to do that lore. Ready. This is a rich province as well. Uh, we can uh, get the noble underbelly here. Get two more big bosses, two more rings of big boss, that's pretty solid. This those two text slime texts are already good. Now the rest army is almost ready, we're just missing Orc Shaman. Legend said he's the third best greenskin faction. Did he, did he make a list of greenskin factions? What's what's his list? You know, we could talk a few things here, but uh, you know, no arguments here. I'm just you know taking my opinion, guys. You know, Grom is obviously the best one because of the unique mechanic. He does not have the best starting city. Can't compare Black Rock, but he has a unique mechanic. No other faction has unique mechanic like him, so it's the best greenskin faction. Well, you gotta put Grimgar a second because of the Black Rug. Simple as that. Even if you might not like Melee's stuff, he does hits like a truck. He has damage. Black Rug is the reason why Grimgar is uh, second. The Bloody Hands, it's uh, one of the most unpolished factions in the game. When we're, uh, the worst garrisons in the game. Uh, but Wurzak is, is strong and uh, also a fun lot to play as well. Wurzak uh, is, is a, a lot of big wow, which is one of the best thing about the Greenskins. Wurzak was the best before Gromgod arrived. Black Rock comes with Clan Morse, Clan Asian, Karaza, Karaka Touch. Well, we were watching this campaign. That was a joy murdering those factions. You must have a PTSD or something about these factions. And you want, uh, you play Azak, you fight Empire, then you quit the campaign, because, you know, these guys have become a superpower. Not every time is gonna be smooth like this, but uh, you know there are uh, measures to do to prevent these factions from snowballing. Like everywhere else, you have to prevent somebody from snowballing. I understand the scheme requires some uh, degree of patience to deal with, and 
units exploding randomly. It's just, you know, part of Skaven. Somebody who plays the game for thousands of hours has to understand this by now. And then we have Skarsnik, which has the worst starting position. Uh, faction mechanic that is trash. Not really updated properly. It doesn't even get me any benefits for Karakate picks. For real. But it's a, it's a still a, a cool lord. It's kind of like, you understandable that some faction has to be challenged. You know, that's like Skarsnik. But some factions also have to be bad. That's Bone Atlas. So, is it uh, scarcing by design like this? Well, they just need to buff his monos or Karakate picks and he's fixed. For uh, Bone Atlas, they need a miracle. They need a miracle. It's just, uh, I don't know. Biggest. We're not talking about the uh, the lords here. We're talking about their factions. We're talking about their factions. Start the war. Ready? Never. It's a miracle that this guy is still here. I'm actually shocked. This is another example of a shit faction like Azok. They even get the same lore. What a shocker. What a fucking shocker. You know, they actually, you know, try to do these factions, you know, like, you know, they might even look okay on pay, you know, till they start playing them. But, you know, for Skarsnik, it's fine. Unless this is not a shit faction. It's a try hard challenge faction. Well, Polos Nagash, shit faction. It's like lost in translation somewhere. And we don't even talk about the Lord here. I mean, Aza can fly. What does uh, Arkan get? Chariot that uh, has bugged animations. And you go want to know best thing, you know one last thing to say before we drop this. His best thing about Arkan was that shield, and guess what? It got butchered. And guess why? Guess fucking why? Let's get sad. It cost 1400 uh, and they're now uh, 1050. Okay, that works properly. We're now at uh, 44 settlements. The invasion will start soonish. Which means this coast uh, will go kaboom. This coast might go kaboom. And this area is gonna uh, struggle a bit. He actually has his economy okay. going. He actually has economy going. Well, since they added this area here, uh, chaos should be here as well. 
Okay, heck, they should just uh, expand this for the C, like it should be C here, and the chaos should be here. All this chaos then goes uh, just uh, uh, this direction. This used to be chaos here. They removed it from the game. They should just put the scales here instead. Talk. You know what's the uh, most upsetting thing about me about the Bone Rattlers, guys? Which you might not even understand, really, because, you know, I might need to draw it to some people. So, Azak needs uh, Arcano for short victory. But the E doesn't even start a war with Chaos when they arrive. The first time. I don't know, in my universe that's like... What's that old guy? What's that gold guy emote? What the hell, what the fuck? You know, guys, what I'm, what I'm talking about. We enabled it recently in chat. Let me find it. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. This. Exactly this. When you think about it, when you think about it, it's long and hard, and there's gonna be only one conclusion. One conclusion, uh, half assed. It's 10 melee attack for Grim uh, melee defense for Grimgor. He needs melee defense. So uh, give us another enemy here. It's a, it's a great uh, trait for Grimgorg uh, car. Ten defense. We don't have movement on the city now, fuck. We can get sea legs yet. Uh, no sea legs. We need sea legs for this. Bar is red, meaning we can't reach the city. Let's find some scum. No one's strong. I can be uh, slaughtering this goddess in here. Might get it even uh, to a higher tier before. So, Grimgor right now, what are the Grimgor stats right now? Uh, 6366 health, 150 armor. His Bloodforge armor is an ability which is uh, pretty active with additional 30 armor. We pretty much have unbreakable leadership. 43 speed, 95 melee attack. 72 melee defense, uh, 800 weapon strength with uh, 6 anti infantry, 8 anti large, 76 charge bonus. On top of that, we have uh, 27 ward save, 25 missile resistance, 25 fire resistance, 30 magic resistance. We have fear, terror, frenzy, which puts his attack to 103. Gives him also more uh, base weapon damage, which is low, 240. On top of that, another 
uh, has the ability best of the best when he is uh, close to a lord or a hero. Gains additional 10 defense and 11% ward save to a total of 38% ward save when fighting another character. We have uh, Four Seeker for speed and to restore vigor. We have Your Next, which cripples an enemy lord or a hero for 24 seconds. We have uh, AoE attack buff and uh, we have explosion uh, which is uh, almost spammable. Same cool as the Gitznik which we are getting also soon. We are just missing a banner of swiftness here. We could smack Azak for, uh, I mean, uh, Vurzak, even Azak for the uh, uh, resistances. Uh, Git Sneak. Um, we have to fight Empire here and get Git Sneak. Fifty percent more arm piercing damage only for attack for eighteen seconds, and then thirty and then uh, thirty seconds later can use it again, as long as he does melee the charges all the time. Hound down the Croxer for additional ten melee defense. What do you mean? You're not going to companion yet? No. You mean Nakai? What does Nakai die exactly? I don't remember. I mean, get superior defender for more defense as well. Shame we didn't get uh, Malus here on the way. Ten mil defense plus until large. Damn. Let's do this bell. This is his second quest battle for his weapon. We already have his armor got done today. We can get another five percent ward, so we get talisman preservation here and potion healing is it's fine. Give this emperor a right spanking. Me and the immortals will lead from the front and seek out that poncy crown wearing git riding his big pigeon. My axe, git snick is somewhere in that pass. A bag of teeth to the orc that finds it and hands it over. Any of you think you're gonna keep it instead? Well, you'll find my boots so far up your ass, you'll be tasting squid lever until you die. Which will be straight after. Anyway, let's give Gork a show. Get smashing! I want this pass filled with blood! I want the humans to remember my name for years and years! Remember Grimgar! Is a steam tank and a luminar there, perfect target for the Doom Divers. 
uh, keep one of these uh, long weapons to protect the artillery. Maybe even one of the trolls. Look at them uh, uh, crimson killers uh, going downhill against swordsmen. there. Let's uh, counter it there. We have to get closer. The wars have arrived. So the trolls on the steam train. Ready now, Doc! Shepard! This fight! Hey! Running! Run, boys! We can uh, put a shout here. Fine here. Uh, we need to send the archers to deal with uh, the flying ones. Get on the fest in my go over here. It's taking so much damage a couple of hits. Should a little stay far away. 200 meters, 200 meters. Should stay somewhere behind in hidden. He got hit three times by the, uh, the enemy lord. Can't be that much damage unless he got hit from behind every single time.
6,000 battle loot. Nice. I'm getting so much battle loot now. It's 1092. 1092, we have uh, 44 settlements, 188,000 in treasury, 11,000 income, 5 armies. Despair involves fighting. Despair leads to war. This is another massive damage boost. This with Gitznik should be, uh, uh, should go easily over 1,000 damage. No helm of disc of this campaign. Ready for murdering. Uh, Cold to Var is building up. Now's the time. Ivan's safe, yes. Go. So this is what we get right what we got right now. We are a yellow. Uh, this red is what we are uh, taking next. Uh, when this is clear, uh, we can bring down Wurzak or Confederate him. And then we look at the other ways. Mark says what? Gonna be quick. Probably get uh, very much this whole area, including Southlands, by this time if you put everything in the military. We probably have like 300k min uh, with minus 20k a turn. This is my land. Whoa. Bells here. Yeah. What is the Black Province in the east? Uh, one of the regions uh, seems to be uh, Lizardmen and two Skaven. No guild today, soon. Put the guards on the artillery here. We have a couple of orc boys in seven. Boys are in the jungle. That's in the current stats of four boys. We have uh, also 8% ward save, 65% shields, 10 armor piercing. Still missing a uh, damage buff. Him, these guys are not all Saurus. Would have been uh, much, uh, much more fair fight. See uh, how it goes there. Then. We got a good uh, charge on uh, the battle line. Looks like we are fighting a master necromancer here. Uh, the pig really hits a little harder and very consistent with attacks. Go, go, go. Here we go. Stop 
was ready. Where's the scrap? Surprising that this guy's uh, uh, still have very good vigor. It's the war boss, uh, the black orc boss, is totally noticeable. Uh, orc war boss with 70 armor, Kekui. What do you expect him? Uh, what do you expect him to be? Armor like the Black Orc boss. Sure, what game they're playing? Or is it just fluff? We have uh, some. I uh, saw, saw some really good stuff today. Getting uh, kind of like an expansion to the uh, outer worlds, and uh, it looks like Obsidian is uh, making Elder Scrolls great again. Makes you wonder now that uh, Obsidian is releasing an Elder Scrolls game. Uh, you know, a Elder Scrolls like game. Maybe uh, Todd will wake up. Oh, nice, we got a fourth one. Now we have all four on Roman. Nasty magic's ready.
20% cheaper goblins and goblin units. And uh, plus 4 uh, leadership for goblin and goblin units. Yeah, this is the setup here. Very cheap army. For some reason he has 440 upkeep. Probably just unadjusted Warhammer 1 values. Makes no sense the Goblin Great Shaman cost that much. Look at the, this, uh, 400 Warhammer 1 Lord, 400 Warhammer 1 Lord, you're telling me a Goblin, Great Shaman, she will co cause the same as the Orc Boar Boss, Master Necromancer Vampire Lord, and then you have the Power Creep, the strongest Warhammer 1 Lord, 200 upkeep. Who's crazy here? Who the fuck is crazy here? If anything, the goblin big the goblin great shaman should be the cheapest one. Should probably have a hundred upkeep. Never really adjusted. Nobody really even complains about things like this. Highly irregular, you know. In the mountain oak. Now we're talking. Go in. I like it. I think it's still legs in this part of the map. Uh, on some of them. Another rating stash. Mm, Thirty-one. Sending Scotty to Karakate Peaks to get some uh, monsters. Get out me head! Turn it. Now they'll see. And this arm is just missing a shaman. Tribes ready. Yeah. Okay, now we have three uh, wizard lords and two. Uh, Fighter Lords, so we can get more Arcanarius most consistently. The Green Skins have some unique uh, items, and Arcanarius is one of them. Which is a really cool uh, Ward Save item that can go on Azak, for example. Make him very resilient. Turn that garbage mount into, uh, into uh, something uh, decent. Those Wyverns have not enough health. Another Warhammer one thing, no doubt. Away. Gonna be quick. Let's get stabby. The Manticore suffers the same problem, I think. Especially for the chaos. This way? No doubt the copy pasta issue. Access 
What? When I get there, gonna stab. All right, I'm off. What do you want? On it. Not doing it. When I get there, gonna stab. Um, probably not scorned about that. Caspians was just a scheme to capitalize on the Warhammer IP after total war in my opinion. Yeah. Quick cash grab. All effort. Uh, feels like coming close. Uh, the objectives are insane. You know how campaigns have a long campaign victory? Well, the green skins have, uh, you know, add three or four O's to this word. We are uh, basically uh, in the uh, belly in the middle. Find us a fight, yeah? Get going, boys! What do you want? Gonna be quick! We already entered that part of the campaign uh, where it develops into a long game. Uh, lots of moving pieces, lots of management, uh, with occasional battles. For war. Nothing wrong with this. Probably not very exciting for a lot of people to watch. For a fight. A lot of people just leave for those first two days of the campaign. If you can handle the, uh, the Skaven, you know, properly, this is a very steamroll faction, the Grimgors are boys. Well, at least for one example. One example is just too early to tell. We did get Snowball Confederation happen in the south. To the Skull Crag. Leading from the front. Oh, he's the biggest. Three shamans. Come on, lads. Now is the time to take back what's ours. This will trigger the chaos invasion. Could have confederated like seven turns ago. Is Grom still alive? I don't know. Is he even in the game? I don't think I ever seen him. How does he look like again? I need to go watch my. Uh, what's his faction name again? I forgot. So he's like skull takers. Dead on turn two. If he goes top ten, we can get a, a best of our buff or one of the best. 
can say for certain, but it's uh, definitely extremely powerful. Man, that god is some god butchered! Butchered! Look at this shit! One orc army, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when you start as Grimgor, aren't boys uh, Skull Crack and Talos Blightwater? We confederated them. They were getting bullied by Quick. That gave us a big boost in the early game. So he's definitely not below Grimgor. There's a different minor faction here. He might be starting in Bretonia. We have uh, Dark Elves controlling this city. Why is there not a, a tower here? The, the area would be balanced if there was a tower here. This layout is copied uh, uh, on uh, so many settlements. towers and uh, then we'll attack the city. Dark Hills does do have some armor piercing units. It will be interesting to see uh, how much damage the Black Orcs take. We do have 8% ward save. Eagerbro got smacked by a Dwarf Lord last time. Those two Doom Divers have a, a really high rate of fire, so we can destroy the towers. Imerk is cooler anyway than Altarian. He's definitely a big douchebag. But uh, with a set of skills, I don't think so. He might be more powerful, but cooler. Say what it is. Say what it is. More powerful. Damn it, man! It. Fixed, huh? How long it was? 2018? Don't even get gear on uh, on our uh, bobs. War! Let's get 
Man, oh, fucking hell, I'd rather fight Skaven with uh, Doom Rockets than uh, this cancer. Worst thing is they patched this, so you know they're no longer even aware anymore. They, this was patched for all you know. For all they care about, this is patched. So much about using uh, bobs in, uh, in battle this campaign. What's happening? We have artillery glitch. Patched two years ago. Looks like uh, we found a workaround here. Well, on very accurate artillery, that's will not work, uh, King Roman. If it's bombardment artillery, like uh, Rock Clover, it uh, might work. Has to take damage from those dark shards. Attack the 
There for all the little girl. Bunch of infantry on this side. Where's this? Who do this? Run, boys! Here we go! Moving forward! We cleanse! Break it!
the get the Nagaran from this side of the world. Yeah, the three veteran black guards. They're tanky even uh, against the uh, high attack black orcs. Miss half the time. That's why I have a uh, brain burst over upgraded and the foot of gork. Which we don't have in this army. 11,653 battle loot. Another 16k sec. Got a tier 2 here. It's an available city. This is not a slot to get this early. Deadly Onslaught. Another damage buff. This one is 31 seconds. Now, the Dark Elves get a Guinea Goddess in here, but not the uh, green skins. This one is protecting uh, Mount Gumbat from the invasions. Potential invasions. Despair involves fighting. No, you need garrison to get the black orcs. You don't get black orcs in the core building, you're not tier 5. I mean, he's dying on army. We are building a VA. We just need to wait it to fill and then uh, declare. Oh, it will be a massive buff. The boys are restless. Nasty magic ready. On it. <laughs> this porter is so good. Look at that shit. The new green skin porters are uh, uh, pretty, pretty nice quality. On this one, uh, we're gonna go all range. But I think the reload time reduction is better. Let's see uh, uh, what we do with the extra range. Uh, the next lord I get is gonna be uh, the workshop boys. Sending Scotty uh, to Karakate Peaks to get uh, a little bit more quality here. Come on, lads! Now is the time to take back what's ours. Clan mm, Scryer. My technology. They're almost even. Hold for war. Says what? Underway.
Pork's will. Moving. Let's get stabby. Get going. Let's get stabby. Just go. This is all overrun by the scave in here. Sniffing out war. I know what could stop me. Yes, boss. Move in. They're taking up to Borlu. Who the hell's they're fighting? Who else are they fighting? Looks like Corona has been eliminated again. Morris kills rank two. This is solid. Kara Cuddling is getting wrecked by the Sylvania. Nice. Clan Scryer uh, only fighting the bloody Bigger hands in the Forces of Chaos. Seems to be ignored in Bretonia. Cetra is struggling with the Bretonians in the west. I'll be overrun by the Chaos Invaders uh, soon enough. Hellman Gorst. Who knows? Maybe next RNG we roll Gorst. It's one more recruit uh, rank for the Lords. One more raiding stash. Uh, one more big boss. One more Bob. Start the war. Roman is yeah. rank thirteen. That's a uh, pretty, uh, pretty smooth stuff here. We just need experience. This is a very strong assist army. Big on Bow for war. I'll put the fear of Gokin at him. Love how there's an army outside the their city. Takes three turns to actually see them without a rogue hero. I will not disgrace my ancestors. Yeah, what? This cave in this jungle, next to Krogar. Krogar. Am I a joke to you? What you want? Can you believe this shit? Get two more scouts. Doesn't matter what trait, they are gonna be on the campaign map. They don't only have a campaign trait, perceptive is okay, but uh, rolling that for uh, that is it's, uh, crazy to even consider. Wemper counts have uh, AFK dozens, two dozens, three dozens, four dozens, five, six, seven dozens necromancers, while greenskins have uh, scouts everywhere. They have a golden big boss behind you, in your closet, under your bed, in your basement, in your drawers, heck, even in your hair. 
They're everywhere. Preparing uh, future shamans. They won't there, wow. Away! The magic ready. Magic's 
tribe leader. No, I will not shame my clan. Ha! Violence! Find us a fight, yeah? Kill everything! Here we go! Bone for war! This threat! I was just saying how that's uh, not a 50-50. We have uh, uh, powerful technologies, and uh, we have uh, Va. Those are the low tier dwarf army that has no chance. Like looks like someone hasn't played green skins lately. So what was the last building here? Nothing to build here. I guess we can get plus four percent replenishment if it's gonna get attacked every in a million years. Hero capacity, hero capacity, hero capacity, hero capacity. Literally nothing to build. We're not gonna get ten of these, so that's uh, that's a waste. We're not gonna get ten of these. That's a waste. Five percent research rate on this technology tree. It's kind of pointless. No staking bonuses on any of these buildings remain. Uh, I mean, this is a mil uh, This is plus six public order here. We don't really need the replenishment. I guess we pull the red trappers. Yes, boss. 
a little bit public order, uh, uh, a little bit. On it. This one is actually good money, even for a bad climate. Three, uh, three ports. Anyone had a rank nine gas before? Uh, Hexwattle had and uh, and Von Karstens with a uh, lot in the past, but they changed that. People are having too much uh, fun with blood, and you know, fun is not allowed. He went from a, a really good lord to uh, with the worst legendary lord of the vampires. Who called the war here? Says what? Not me. Wasn't me. Gonna be quick. It's a lot of scale in, uh, in Bretonia, but uh, what the fuck is this shit? What is this? It looks like Crooked Moon actually was doing good. Then came Belegar and just like, no, no. Fun is over, boss, you're dead. Belegar has been beelining for Crooked Moon uh, hard lately. What? Where's my manners? Come, come and die. The city is nice uh, to have as a foothold there. Forget it. But uh, huh? no confederation available Sorry, here. On, uh, they have no military. I, I has already heard your words, but speak of anyone. I was ready. I have no idea how this one is still alive. Something stupid. They have offered us a military alliance with three uh, uh, big uh, uh, baggage bags, and they ask only seven thousand of us. So they, they're crying for help and they want money. We're not USA here. Where are these guys? Hunters of Kronos. Aggressive faction offering non aggression and they want 9,000. Aggressive factions ignore non aggression. You just straight declare war, uh, really. Got the shiny magic things, uh, more. Magic item drop chance and more wins of magic power reserve. This is a good technology. Ooh. We need to find somebody of Baston or Reichland for this one. 20 turns. It's one of the best items in the game. That will be great for uh, one of the bosses. You 
got the dirtiest no suit now. Stronger. Don't think so. Ho 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 Okay, this is gonna be it for today with Gringo Boys. Uh, the, after the short break, we'll be back with uh, with Golden Order. This campaign continues. See you in a bit.